Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Taylor, but I go by T Ramso on all of my platforms, and we are back for another episode of Life Abroad. Today, we are getting Brazilian waxes. Um, this is not our first time getting Brazilian waxes, but it is our first time getting Brazilian waxes in Greece. So we are a little bit nervous, um, but the reviews for this place are really great, and I wanted to take you guys along because I think it's really important for the girls to know where they can get their beauty needs done here um so we found a braider now and we found a nail person we found a good nail place now we just need to find a good waxer and i feel like that checks off all the list right yeah i feel like that checks off everything for beauty needs if you're like a lash girl or one of those girls i'm not that i'm not the channel for that i'm not the girl for that but i'm sure they have them here like i know they do have them here for sure but we're going to be trying Aphrodite Spa. It's like 18 minutes via transit to get there. And then I think we're gonna go get lunch. And then to the mall, you think? Yeah, or I mean, we go to the other one. No, we don't like the other one. Yeah, to try to go find some outfits and outfit options for a trip we have coming up next week so yeah y'all i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog or will enjoy this vlog and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe do we need to do outfit otds today you think okay yeah Our outfits are pretty basic today it's just giving runny errands nothing yeah nothing major yeah you're all black um i'm gray and black but, yeah, it's not giving much today, but we're about to head out so we're not late to our appointment. Um, and yeah, y'all, fingers crossed. Jesus, fingers crossed, prayers up. The God, the God blesses us with a really good wax appointment. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Come with me to get a Brazilian wax in Athens, Greece. I hopped on the metro to head to the spa, and the walk to the spa is beautiful. I saw the sign for the spa and headed to the first floor and rang the doorbell. I arrived to my appointment 20 minutes early, so I did have to wait, but I didn't wait more than five minutes before she called me back. And the music in here was real cute. I did not mind waiting at all. She called me back to the wax room, and before you knew it, I was spread eagle on a table laughing. What? This wax was one of the most painless, professional, and thorough waxes I have ever received in my life. And just for context, I would normally rate my pain level for waxing a 4 out of 10, and this was a 2 out of 10. I left the spa with a pep in my step, only paying 25 euro for a full Brazilian wax. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey y'all, so we are back from being out today. We actually stopped by this place called O Costas. I believe that's how it's pronounced here. Um, and it's like one of the oldest Suvlaki Euro places. And it was honestly really good. The meat was seasoned really, really good. Um, I would rate it a seven out of 10. I'm gonna leave it in the description bar below for y'all to check out. But I think it is a place that you should just go check out because it does have so much history and the people are really, really kind there. So yeah, me and they, we had lunch and outside near Syntagma Square, and just kind of enjoyed our time there. And then we stopped at H&M to pick up some things. Y'all, the H&M over here, it gives, but I feel like it's more expensive. But also I don't really shop like that. So it may just be me. I may just be tight with money. But I did end up finding two things that I like loved. I don't really buy things unless I absolutely love them, like love, love them. Um, and it's this crop top, but it, I don't know if you guys can see the material. 
it's like really light and it's super tight like it's not that stretchy it compresses everything like i'm going to wear this out i didn't even want to take it off when i tried it on in this store um it's super cute it's in the extra small and it was 9.99 and then I picked up this white linen shirt. Y'all know, obviously, I love the color white. But I die for button downs. Like, I'm just a button down girl. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it classic. And I like to rewear outfits and, like, mix and match. And having button downs that can go with anything make making an outfit a little bit easier. Like, uh, this much easier. But it does make it a bit easier. So, I picked up this white linen button down. And usually I get them super oversized, but this one is actually my size. Um, it's in an extra small. And it fits my arms. For some of my size, I do have relatively big arms. So, that's why I like to wear things without sleeves a lot. But these fit my arms perfectly. And it's like super breezy. I could throw it over something. I could just wear it as a shirt. Yeah. So, I'm excited to wear this in like wear this out too so that's pretty much all we did today and then we picked up some baklava nay is not a fan of baklava but i eat baklava dang near every day it is my like daily dessert and i just enjoy it so much so she says i'm gonna try that i'll probably get her to try that on camera for y'all to see how she likes it but i got walnut baklava instead of the pistachio i usually get the traditional pistachio but i want to try the walnut this time to see how it was tasting um and I got it from this a store called Baklava. It's just full of just nothing but baklava, different kinds. They had like chocolate baklava, uh, pistachio, walnut, and then they had like mixes with cream in it. Um, that's not my steez, but if it's yours, go for it. So we're getting ready to just uh, chill, hop in the shower. I got some editing to do. I really want to get that wax video up for y'all. Um, I'm pretty sure I've included it in the vlog already, but. The wax experience was 10 out of 10. I haven't talked about it here, but the wax experience was definitely 10 out of 10. Um, I will be going back. The girl's name that I went to, her name was Ezra, and that was the most thorough and perfect wax I've ever gotten. Like, no shade to my wax girl back home, but this wax right here, first of all, the wax is just different. It's like, I don't know what kind of wax they use, but it's just different over here. And, 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 she was so thorough like she made sure she got every single hair she tweezed like no other she tw and i've never been tweezed before i know that's common for a lot of waxes to do that but my waxer back home does not tweeze me she just like tries to get it all with wax and then if she doesn't get it all with wax she do goes in with sugaring but y'all this girl was literally in there like making sure she got everything the only thing that was different is that i didn't do <laughs> This is like TMI. I didn't do knees up for her to get my butt area. Uh, she made me like lay over and spread them apart, which was a bit much. But she got it done and she got everything. Like I'm so excited for this these upcoming trips that we have. So yeah, that's that's it. That's all I gotta say. Um, we're chilling here tomorrow. Like nothing exciting happening tomorrow. But Friday, we are going on an island. Like, we're doing a day trip to an island. Um, but that will be a separate video. And by the time you see this video, that video will probably already be out. So, we're doing a day trip to Idra. It is one of my favorite islands here in Greece. Um, it's not over hype like Santorini or Mykonos. And it's just beautiful. There are no cars on the island. You can only um, transport, use, well, what am I trying to say? You can only get around via donkey or horse, which I love, or walking. Um, the ocean is literally right there. You can just hop in, and there are plenty of restaurants, dessert places, shopping, boutiques. It's just a very cute, secluded, chill island, and that's like my type of vibe. Like Santorini and Mykonos are just very overrated, in my opinion. Um, great for pictures and like for first time visitors, but it's just overpriced and overrated. It's a tourist trap, but if you ever get the chance, I would definitely recommend that you go to either. But definitely go check out that video. If you haven't, it will be somewhere up here. Um, but yeah, y'all. That's all I got for right now. I'm going to cut these tags off and put them in my dirty clothes so I can wash them. And then get some editing done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the vlog. And I love you. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So Nate's getting ready to try a baklava. And I just want to try to see the reaction. This is her first time. It's your first time, right? Mm -hmm. 
She's had the pistachio, I believe, before. Mm -hmm. But this is the walnut one. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time trying it from this specific place, but this is what it looks like. And for those who don't know, baklava is a traditional Greek dessert that is just out of this world. Delicious. I love it. I'm sorry for that, y'all. I'm gonna get her Italian. So you want it all wet? Yeah. Yeah. No, because then it wouldn't be crunchy. I know. <laughs> I just want the, the top crunchy. You want them? I think that's why I like because I like bread so much. And it's flaky. I like guess perfectly flaky. I'm sure it is. There's nothing like it. Can't fit, it, baby. Delicious, It's not nasty. You just don't like it. It's not mine. You don't want your shirt? No, we need dress up. Okay. No, that ain't. That's why I said it's not nasty. But it's not something I would choose. Yeah. So I said five, because it's not nasty. Okay. Well, we're in the flip. It's a little basic. <laughs> That's all right, y'all. Mm. about it but we're gonna enjoy our time oh 
they taking all the spots. <laughs> Some students just got here, but it, it's time to get in the water, yeah. I remember if we keep like walking. I, I think if we keep walking, yeah. Anyway, we're about to explore for a little bit and then I'm gonna get in the water. Oh, love it. Yeah, that was so cute. just got some content for Instagram make sure I go check that out um, now we're getting ready to head down to the water and I'm gonna get in the water swim for a little bit and I'm gonna head and get some lunch before we leave because our time is winding down it is literally already 1240 so I have about an hour to just get content in the water and just swim and have fun and then we are headed back are you having fun yeah yeah so our time is limited but super excited to be headed back so I will see y'all in the water bye y'all Y'all, we're heading towards the main part of the island because our time is done. We are winding down. I think we only have like 45 minutes left here. <laughs> Please, I think we only have like 45 minutes left here on the island before our ferry comes. But honestly, I made it 10 out of 10. That was my first time ever like jumping or diving into the ocean and I think I may have did it wrong because I felt like all the pressure from the ocean was in my brain. So please feel free to share any tips about cliff diving, ocean diving, because for a solid, what would you say, like five to, five to seven minutes? Mm, ten. ten minutes? I could not get my bearings together. Like water was coming out of every part of my body. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Yeah. 10 out of 10 day. Highly recommend. Please come to Idra. It is beautiful. As y'all can see, the water is literally so clear. Ooh, my arm is getting tired. Anyway, I'll check back in with y'all once we get to the bottom of this island. Nay, how you feel? <laughs> Good. I'm super tired from that water, y'all. Like, I can go to sleep right now. Like, right now. But, hopefully, everyone comes fast. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show y'all the lot of this place. So, we'll see y'all next time. Hey y'all, 
y'all so it is the next day after we came back home from either island yesterday we came back to a clean apartment one of the benefits of this apartment is that we have cleaning services done twice a month so from top to bottom everything gets clean new sheets mop the floors clean the showers clean the toilet like everything top to bottom is clean so that was amazing to come back to a clean apartment um and then we crashed that water had me so tired yesterday i mean i was drained today dra like drained me okay um slept in a little bit got some work done got some editing done today um and today's just kind of like a cleanup day um it is a little groggy outside the clouds are out the sun is not shiny um so i'm going to do some laundry and i'm going to actually wash my hair i have all that sea salt in my hair from yesterday um and it's just super dry so this will be my first time ever washing my braids ever i don't keep them in long enough to wash them um so i'm trying to do better y'all i'm trying to do better about keeping a protective style uh and try to get at least another week or so out of these after that i'm not making no promises i'm probably taking these braids out but at least get another week out of them um because I do plan on going swimming again next week because we'll have some visitors and we're taking another trip. I know y'all like we are on the go, on the go, on the go, but we're here for a limited amount of time and we are trying to make the best of it. Um, so yeah, today's just going to be like a cleaning day, doing laundry, cleaning out my shoes, um, getting some editing done and washing my hair. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you use it to plan your future trips to Greece um, and specifically either Idra, or oh Jesus, Idra Island. And yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment how you feel in the comment section below. I love you. God loves you more. And always, 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 always stay prayed up, stay motivated, and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.